over there. Um, in this video, actually, I decided to do this video a bit differently, organize it a bit differently. I mean, usually I do the programming and then edit the mess and everything, but have more fun actually problem solving with these kind of projects. So I'm just gonna um, hold myself and it's gonna be like a stream, I guess. In the last, I made the tic tac toe game completely, the one that I can tip. made this, it's working as it should. And in this video, I'm gonna try to make it um, online. So, made a new folder but I kept the main uh, code so that I can reference it right I'm gonna start with the server and I'll create a game class now, I'm gonna model it on this one so I'll come here for inspiration so create a board Nine. For those that don't know Python, like what this does is create a list of um, this string or nine bases. So that there are nine items in the list which are all just this string. I want to reference that to so create some um, code. Next thing I do, um, players. But this one, players are going to be out of. Um, they're going to be connected via a server. So I want to create a server. And then create a server client. The way, just like full disclaimer, I I made a mock code before, so I have a rough idea of where I'm headed heading to. But I'm still going in blind a second time because I have horrible memory. Right. I don't know how to explain this, but I'm not going to try. I'll leave the link in the description so you can understand how like server ports work. So I'm going to be running this on my local um, network for now. So gonna add, put the um, the IP which is the host and the port use the standard okay so now service created we made it to bind usually people will just like make it so it tries to bind once but I'm not a fan of that I want it to always bind I'll through. This is not a very good way to handle it, but okay. so the server bind bound successfully. Now we have a server, we need to have it listen for connection. That's self thought. simple um I'll be able to input so that I can keep the command window running. So I'm gonna make this class so that it um, keeps connecting. Like so how do I put it? I'm gonna make this class so the server and keep accepting more people for a while. Um, now, 
off the screen, I have um, just this folder with all the thing. So I'm going to connect the client. We'll come back into this server. When I connect, bring it. Uh, actually, let's have a name that equals to connection. So that I can have a visual representation whenever someone joins. And here I'll change the code so that when it connects, it sends. Okay, I think I want to rename this one. Server. It's more sense. It's like sending back to the server. It's okay, so server dot send. Um. Hey, okay, I need an input. And I want it to send the name and decode it. So, sorry, encode it. So that um, there's a visual representation. Whenever someone connects, it sends their name immediately. Yeah. Let's see if that works. Our client. Right. Give us a name. Let's put in Johnny. Link. Okay, so now we have Johnny connected. That's beautiful. And I can create another one. Yeah, oh, sorry. Actually, let me create a few. Give us a name. This one will be Sandy. Sandy connected. And uh, Derek. And Derek connected. Yeah. Right, so the next issue I have is I'm not supposed to have more than uh, three players at a time. Sorry, more than two players at a time. Right now, any number of players can join. So we need to find a way to make it so that... Um, we need to find a way to make it so that when two players join, it stops. This stops working. Now, <clears throat> I can have it so that when... Um, after, after two players join this thread stops working or I can have it so that it, it's constantly working but it doesn't work if there are um two players you know what I think that's what I'm gonna do that's what I'm gonna do so here I'm gonna pass in the health dot video health dot layouts list Put that here So I'm just going to test if it works. Um, oh no, this is not what I want. I don't want this at all. Um, okay. Good. Why I'm saying that is because I want to be able to make layer object and that won't allow me to do that. But let me just I want all my days. Yeah, I think I'll just do it. So for this one, I can have it so it references the list here. So now, um, I can have it while the length of of you know, layers is um, less than three. Yeah, less than three. Because I'm only expecting two players. Then it tries to connect, so I've 
gold to get. Hmm, I'm sorry. So what this uh, list does is, since we only have in two players, the player can either have an ID of one or an ID of zero. That way, when someone leaves, their ID becomes available and anyone that joins just takes that ID. And we also have like a number of uh, people that can uh, join. Let me see if that works. Alright, let's go with it. Because, uh... <laughs> see. Let's go. I want it. Oh, I can't even stop it. Red, alright. Oh. Not work. Oh, for me. Okay, okay, I see the problem. So right here, it connects even if there are already two people in the list. I want it to be less than two. So that it only connects if there is zero, if there is nobody, or there is one person. Let's test it. Oh. I'm just gonna like connect the client off screen. Right. The third one doesn't join, but the other two do. Okay. Um so let's see if we can make a way that a way for the um client the server to know if somebody has disconnected. What this function is going to do for me is it's going to keep trying to send um, data to each of the players and if there is, if it is unable to send the data then that means the player is disconnected and it opens up for another player to join. I'm going to test that now. I right. 
server binding is successful to be the first client convent spell right this will be the second third client is client three you see client three cannot join now client one and two should be sending packages and just if we get client one, we need this. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. I mean, it's working. I just need to actually remove him now. And let me see if I can do the. Uh, what? It's not going to do anything but move this play three as uh, joined on the same ID as the other one. So if I have another one called player four, have him try to join, nothing is going to happen. Then if I remove player one, which is ID zero, player four will join using that ID. Pretty cool, I think. Okay. Okay, now that I have the players connecting <coughs> to the server, sorry for the change in voice. Um, now that I have the players connecting to the server, I think I want to make the client work now. So, um, Okay, I'm gonna make this class game class. It's gonna be different from the server because well this isn't running on the same code as the server. I'm, well, I'm gonna make the um title screen first. So it'll be the exact same as the offline one. I just want it to be a bit bigger. I know for sure that I'm only going to be able to run this on Windows, so if you're using a Mac, you might have to change this function. But for me, system CLS to clear the terminal. Okay, so it waits until it's connected. This is how I'm going to run it. It's going to wait until it's connected. When it's connected, then it will be waiting for another player. So while it's on, okay, so what I decided I'm going to do is have it be the same waiting screen. So the here will have a message. Um, So it's going to be a constant loop. So if it's an, if the game is not connected, I want it to. Okay. Let me load up the client. Go online. Okay, wait. Wait. Until I'm not a fan of this glitchy. Ok, 
okay that's sorted i realized that um this will become now the main loop that takes data from the server so that's i'm going to go and call it okay so here we'll be receiving this is where we'll be receiving instructions so instruction equals to So I'm gonna run the server. Now the server's running, I'm gonna run one client just to test. See so what happens. Okay, okay. Right. Perfect. That is actually perfect. Working. Great. A bit. So, the client don't want this up here. What I'm trying, trying to figure out is I want to see the data, so I want um, the data to only get printed whenever it's sent. So, before you couldn't see what this was printing because it was always deleting it. So now I think we should be able to see it from the server and run a client. Okay. With Jeff. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Do something here. I have to make the loading time smaller. Okay. That is beautiful. That is really beautiful. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And then when you disconnect, boom. Okay. And now I have to figure out how to make this work as I want to. Right now we're in the main group. We're waiting for it. Okay. Sending data. So each player connects and each player receives data. Okay, so I'll make this wait room instead. Um, so this was just a perform that I can move this now so that I don't confuse myself. Wait, room. Now, um, the Need it to be an instruction. Not quite yet, actually. Now, I just wanted to send nothing. And Nothing. We don't wait. Room. I'm actually curious. I don't know if this is going to work. So I'm going to have it. So if the length of players is less than two, it tries this. And then when the length of players is not less than two, then we break and move somewhere else. And then the first instruction will be wait over. I don't know. This is not very important. This one will just be a continue. So let me check and get so here if the length is is less than two. Does this except? I need to need this one again. It removes layers from the list so it goes back here. That means we don't want this break. Yeah, we want it here when it manages to send to everyone that 
there are two plays in the server. Okay, and continue. We need it. No, we don't. Okay. Well, let me try that now. Okay. Make sure nothing is broken. I'm going to connect to the Weird. I'm so confused right now. One second, please. Alright, so I did some checking. Funny, funny, funny issue. That was the issue right there. I forgot to remove the eye after I removed it from here. So it's no longer big to the eye. Just... Mm. Programming is fun. Anyway, hope oh, this, this works now. I don't have any reason not to. So, start server. And team, bellissimo, bellissimo. Wait, what? Absolutely waiting for opponent dead. Start and now it's waiting for opponent. Check it out. Second one. Check for this one. Okay, I. Issue. It's not doing well. Oh, yeah. Wave room closed. I just need to handle it on the side. Maybe I should create a thread that handles the instructions. I think I'll, I'll do just that. And then stop the server. Th no, I don't want that one. I want a thread on the client to handle all, all incoming information. That's great. It's great. Ugh. Right, so the next step is to actually start the game. I think I'm gonna start on the server side. Um so when wait room is closed. Yeah. <laughs> so when wait room is closed, I want it to call those door. Oh, let's call it game loop. So I've got game loop. So, in self.game loop, I'm gonna go to the main file. So, I can read what I've done there. 
Okay, so for a game loop, this is what we do. We initialize the board, we set the letters, and then we choose who gets which letter. Um, um, I think what I'm going to do first is... Wait, sorry. new game and then within the new game we'll have a game with the loop so that like we can call it another time new game within new game what we want to do is set the board the this dot we want to do this again okay and then what we do the letters I can take this and then choose who will be player one and player two oh this okay first thing we need to do is set who's gonna be player one so chooses which player is which like that with that beautiful 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 oh. so now we need to start organizing how the data is going to look i think i want it a bit like this i'm going to come here to do it <coughs> um do it like so data i'm going to be like um I wanted to have an instruction and set it. Get to have a player one. Have player two. Data is going to be very long, by the way. <laughs> nice one. E2. I know there's a better way to do it. I just want it to be so that I can have like um have a parser that can split the list and take out which which um information it needs. Instant MP2. What else? We also need zero through. Nine, so bro. One. Sorry, zero through eight. Eight. That's eight, right? It should be it. And then he uses the instruction. And then. This works really I do because I have no idea how to sort this out. But I'm gonna come down here. Layer one is this, two is 
the city is new design, but they use the sign. Just do the circle. Um. video is 13 minutes awesome <laughs> back to the menu so we need this move we need to move the board Okay, I don't need to draw the window, so that's good. I can set the board. I think I can make a move. I think I can make a move. I think I can make a move. Oh. Let me check. Um, I think from this point I'm just gonna go through and code it all by myself but um I'll show the draw function self dot draw window please and create that. By the way I created this um pass method for that the instruction I like, remember from before this is how I'm gonna be sending instructions through the sockets this instant split makes a list out of all of these so this is one this is two this is three four five bits right and then this instant five dot split takes this and then splits it into a further list so there's a list of zero through eight it saves that in tiles now i want it to be a dictionary so i could use these keywords I hope it works so I can use these keywords here so from here we have inst and then I could use inst um and um let's say tiles and I'll be able to get the tiles if that makes any sense
did after a bit of tinkering i finally got everything to work let me just show you there's one client one client the server is running so if we call this one um they both connect and they're both ready to move after a while you get the option now one thing i've noticed that i would like to fix is the um the actual drawing onto the, um, the screen i don't like how jittery it is so i'm gonna find a way to fix that um another thing i can add video Another thing I can add is the protocol for when somebody leaves halfway through a match. Right now, it just breaks everything. So I could add that. I'm not going to do that now because I've achieved my goal for now and I want to move on to another project. Um, well, yeah, that's it for this one. Um, I know for sure you didn't enjoy sitting through all that, but thanks for stopping by anyway, and I wish you the best.